Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also a publisher of Reading the Pictures. Have you seen photos of these buses in the shape of an AR-15 to protest gun violence? In its scale and symbolism, it's as visceral as it is moving. This photo comes courtesy of the nonprofit Change the Ref. The NRA Children's Museum, as it's called, is a mobile exhibition consisting of 52 empty school buses honoring the 4,368 children who have lost their lives to gun violence since 2020. Several of the buses feature artifacts, photos, videos, audio recordings, and personal memories of those lost. The top of every truck also lists the city and date of the site of mass shootings that took place in America in those two years. In single file, the procession is a mile long. Change the Ref was founded by the family of Joaquin Oliver, who was murdered in the Parkland shooting. This is an organization that uses art and performance-based image events that it stages in public to transform how Americans think about gun violence. The NRA Children's Museum really seems to be skillfully grounded in what I think is a really powerful combination of iconicity and incongruousness. The icon of the school bus itself is really significant here. It signals rituals of childhood, education, safety, community. The school bus's role is to get your child to and from school safely. And it also represents truly a public commitment, a public investment by your community to do that. And the names on the top of the bus is really highlight that specificity of locations and communities affected by gun violence. In addition to the icon of the school bus, there's also the icon created by the shape of those school buses, the icon of the AR-15. And that icon really signals what Change the Ref is fighting against, the worship of guns by groups like the NRA. Putting these buses in the shape of that icon of the AR-15 really reanimates the horror of how that weapon has been used in school shootings. This is a pretty sophisticated project. This photo conveys force, portability, the free movement of weapons through public space. It's doing all of that at kind of an unconscious level. You can also read this as a rebuttal to those who had armed teachers and militarized the schools. This picture is saying, don't weaponize the school or anything having to do with the school. Part of the way it does that, I think, is by adopting this idea of a children's museum, the NRA Children's Museum. That idea seems so incongruous. Typically, children's museums are free, friendly places of learning and play where kids get to run around and learn about science and art. But the NRA as an organization, of course, has shown little interest in children's safety. So what's powerful about this appropriation of the idea of a museum is that Change the Ref is showing you, making you confront the belongings of these children who were victims, children who should today still be riding on these school buses. It's important, I think, to think about this photograph as an aerial photograph. You can't see the image of the gun unless you're high enough above the school buses to see the image that they have been arranged to create. And I think similarly, there's a visual argument being made here, which is that just like you can't see the image of the gun until you rise above the buses, you also can't see the structural issue of gun violence if you can't rise above the thoughts and prayers rituals of individual school shooting events to see the big picture. The bus's function in this image is really to invite you to have to absorb and engage with the idea that these shootings happened to this many people because there's a big picture structural problem. 